till I came home late on a honky tonkin Saturday night. A Mexicali road was a nowhere in sight. Hi. Um, I had a request to do a tutorial for rock and rollers. Um, also known as wrap snap and go rollers. You can get these a variety of places. I recommend the ones Lauren uh, Lauren carries on her HRST books website because it also comes with a great book of tutorials and all kinds of great things that you can do with the rollers. Um, also, I feel like hers are a little sturdier than the ones you can get at Ulta that are similar. They still have the leopard print. They still snap together at the end, but I feel like hers have held up better. So I did try both and I definitely recommend the rock and rollers. I don't know if there is a difference, but it feels like there's a difference. So what we're gonna be doing today is a very in-depth tutorial of how to apply the rock and rollers. I've got a friend at work who's thinking about grabbing these, and so I wanted to give her a little bit of a head start on those by uh, doing a tutorial for how to make it work for your hair type. So if you're not into vintage styles, cause she's not, if you're not into vintage styles, this is still gonna be a great way for you to apply these rollers, and I'll give you some tips to make it more modern along the way. Um, I'm gonna be sitting under my dryer, the Rebel Helmet here in just a little bit, but as of now, that's uh, what's gonna be going on in this video. Also, some of you have asked about this picture in the background. Is by my grandfather. That's why it's back there. I wanted to have it behind me. So for now, it's gonna be behind me and I'll probably go back to my Princess Leia background eventually, but as of right now, I'm just, uh, I'm loving having this painting as my backdrop. So those people that are in the vid in the painting, I don't know them. My grandfather copied it from a uh, photo in a magazine. <laughs> so anyway, my grandfather was a wonderful artist and I have a lot of his paintings. So anyway, I'm going to do you a little tutorial here on rock and rollers. I love, 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 love them. I use them almost exclusively as my overnight set now, unless I'm really looking for a specific look because pink curls do come out quite differently than a rock and roller set. So I am not going to um, say that they they replace pin curls by any by any means, but as far as an overnight set, I feel like they replace uh, sponge rollers for me, just simply because I like the type of curl I get with them. And we'll do a little tutorial on a style afterwards. I've pinned my bangs out of the way, but as of now, I'm you know it's not going to be really about the style. This is more about the application of the rollers and how to make them work for you. So what I have here, all you will need is a good styling brush for the finished product. Of course, this is my Denman styling brush, which I feel like is a must for vintage hair styles. Also, the rock and rollers themselves, they come in various lengths, short ones and long ones. I'm gonna show you why I use the different lengths. Um, also, this is a bottle of uh, diluted Lotta Body setting lotion. It is about four parts water to one part Lotta Body. I do not use anything other than that right now. So all that you have to do I have parted my hair and I am now going to start rolling. I have a um, mirror set up way over here. So that's my only mirror that I'm using right now. So it's gonna look like I'm looking off in the distance. But that's because I am. All right, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a small section and I'm not gonna separate it with any rhyme or reason. It's just being separated by my fingers and I tend to do this while I'm watching TV, so it is not something you have to put any kind of real effort into. If you want to make it a little more on purpose and more specific, using a setting pattern, yada yada, feel free. You can. So I start with my short rollers, I end up with long rollers, and I'll show you why. So first thing I'm going to do, and I want there to be a little lift to this style, so what I do is just spray the ends of my hair with my setting lotion. Now if you want a more modern look with this, you don't need to use setting lotion because the setting lotion is going to make the curl a lot more structured. So if you want to just use a water bottle, just use a water bottle. So I wrap it about halfway down and then I roll it in and I'm using the shorter rollers right now. There. Snap. Done. Next section. If you want this to be more modern, use larger sections, literally like larger sections. You'll just have some wave at the bottom and the top will be loose. It'll be look a lot more modern. So that's for you, Maggie. Okay. And also if you're wanting a more modern look, you wouldn't use the brush at the end and I'll show you how to do that as well. So I'm going to take my second short roller, wrap it tightly around the center of the rock and roller, roll them in, and 
You're going to find the center of the one you just placed and you're going to snap through it. This is very important. You're linking the rollers together and that's going to make them stay put. Now they're still going to slide overnight if you've got fine short or finer hair like me. So this is actually not going to work with everyone. Um, as far as keeping it from sliding entirely. So I'll show you the solution for that as well. So I'm going to grab this next section and I'm concentrating most of the moisture on the end because of course I want the end to be very structured. Wrapping it around. Rolling it up. Find the center of the last roller. Snap. Next one, spray, and you kind of pull the moisture through so that it's not really on the ends, I mean it's not really on the, the roots, but if you want it on the roots so you can have an even more vintage hairstyle, like a little bit, if your hair is uh, cut that way, I really need a haircut right now, so mine wouldn't really work that way anyway, um, but you don't have to focus the moisture on the end. Find your last one, loop it through. Find the snap. There you go. So I'm now down about to ear level and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop and go to the other side. Keep them with the short rollers. The cool thing about rock and rollers also, as opposed to your standard roller set, is that the rock and rollers don't really um, need, they don't really do a whole lot of uh, denting. You know how you get those dents from the clips on foam rollers? And yeah, you can do things to prevent that from happening, but you do get those dents more with those. They're so comfy to sleep on. So comfy. Okay. So I've got all of my little rollers, are, my short rollers are gone, and I use them here. And now I'm going to go to the larger rollers. Roll it up. Oh, this one I'm not going to attach to the ones at the top. I actually link the back ones together. All right, so I'm going to the next one. Well, I looked on the porch and I found my dog Mo with a note on the phone saying, Adios, mi amor, con mucho amor. Oh, well, oh, oh, well. Alright, and that's a full rock and roller set. Linked the long ones together in the back, the short ones together on the side. So these are linked and these are linked. And then what I do if I'm sleeping on it is I take a hairnet. Now you can use a scarf, but I have to say these rollers are pretty dense. So if you use a scarf, it could tend to take a little longer to dry. So a hairnet is your key. You're going to just take it and place it over the top. And these will stay put all night long. No problems. They will not go anywhere. But I'm going to dry under my dryer. So I actually won't need to have the hairnet on, but I just wanted to show you this for the purpose of um, doing it overnight. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to lower. <laughs> I'm lowering my stool so I can get up underneath here. Now that I'm down low enough for my dryer, I'm going to go up under it. It's going to take about 30 minutes for this to dry, and then I will be all ready to do a style for you. Ta-ta! Alright, so I have been under the dryer for about 30 minutes, and I feel like this is really dry. Maybe, hopefully. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and unroll, and I probably won't talk through this because this isn't a really easy style. This is just something I do every day. One thing I will say is that you need to... It's always best, I think, to undo all of the rollers first because then you can just pull them right out. You don't have to worry about them getting wrapped around another one or trapped on another one. So that's just my, something I've come to realize about these. Adios, mi amor, con mucho amor. Oh, where, oh, where, oh, where, oh, where, where, oh, 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 where, Kelly Road. Come 
come back home to me Well, I sure have been good and I sure have been true Now my baby call train left me sad and blue Now my days are short and my nights are long Me and Mo just are singing this song Adios, me and Mo Come on, show up, Mo Oh, well, oh, well Oh, well, oh, well Well, can't she be? Well, well, oh, well Oh, well, oh, well Well, can't she be? Okay, so this is the finished style. I've clipped in a bell blossom just for the heck of it because it's summertime and I feel like flowers are a must. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty successful attempt at hiding bangs as well. So this kind of can be a tutorial on that. I just pinned my bangs back and lifted the top a little bit. Now, this is not as curly as it could be because it didn't completely dry. I think in that 30 minute time frame, I actually sweat a lot. So some of the, uh, some of the uh, humidity got to it. However, if you sleep on this, it, you won't have that problem unless you've got super thick hair. And if that's the case, then just make sure your hair is not too uh, damp. Um, you may also try a setting lotion that you use when your hair is still wet and then dry it. But this is the finished look. Very simple everyday tutorial. If you guys live on the West Coast, you can wear your hair like this during the day. Here we can't, even, even with a wet set, no. So I will probably put this up in a bit. Um, but just so you know, um, this is the way I would use, this is the way I use my rock and rollers. I absolutely love these things. I like the soft, gentle curl that it gives you, such a nice, soft look. Um, if you want them to be tighter, if you want, them to, want it to be curlier, you can use them uh, with smaller sections. You'll probably run out though, so you'll have to probably supplement with some foam rollers unless you've got a couple sets of them. But you can use smaller sections and you'll get a lot more of a loose curl uh, or of a tight curl, but I absolutely love the loose wave. It's my favorite, favorite style to wear. This is all, I'm all about, you know, uh, Margot Channing and all about Eve. <laughs> It's one of my favorite hairstyles. So yeah, if you have any questions at all about rock and rollers, wrap, snap and go, whatever you wanna call them, let me know. And hopefully this helped you to some extent and we will see you next time. Well, I came home late on a honky tonkin' Saturday night. A Mexicali rose was a no more inside. Well, I looked under